Hello my friend, Caleb Wright here from Bitcoin Lifestyles Club. And if you like to play online casino games like blackjack, dice, slots, and even Texas Hold'em poker, then you're going to love PlayRoyal.com, the decentralized app, also known as a DAP, that I'm going to review with you in this video. Just to give you a quick summary, at PlayRoyal.com, you can use cryptocurrency to make bets in your favorite online casino games, which includes the kind of games I've already mentioned, and even more. This well-designed and fast-growing dApp has some killer complementary features besides the games. PlayRoyal features two utility tokens that you can use to earn a passive income and bonus crypto rewards. First, you have the Play token, which is also available for trading on the Tron Trade Dex. And when you hold at least 1 million play in your online gaming account, you will earn a daily revenue share of RWD, or reward tokens. And you can scale up your daily passive earnings for each additional 1 million play tokens that you hold on your account. And you can mine and earn additional reward tokens by playing the games on Play Royal each time you gamble with a certain amount of any of the mineable cryptos on the platform. I'll show you more details about this mining through playing the games aspect later. And there are also a few ways you can profit from your reward tokens. First off, you can just hold them on the platform and earn your share of 50% of the Play Royal Casino transaction fees from gaming and the cryptocurrency exchange. The more RWD that you hold, the larger your share will be. You can also trade your RWD tokens for Tron slash TRX anytime you want. And they do actually hold a nice value against TRX. I think around 0.8 TRX per RWD token the last I checked. You can also hold your RWD to participate in one of the daily bonus reward parties where you can burn any amount of your reward tokens to earn a proportionate share of the reward pools of supported cryptocurrencies that are being gambled on the platform. And again, this reward party prize pool is generated by whatever gaming happens that day. And the more the house wins, the larger the value of the rewards that can be had. And of course, it can go the opposite way. And if the house loses a lot to the players, the rewards can be very small. This is something that ebbs and flows on a daily basis, kind of like the crypto markets. I'm not going to go into it here, but you can get more info about the tokenomics slash supply for both of these tokens in the FAQ section of the site. But what I'll say for now is that it's a fair setup for all involved. Only about 20% of the supply of both play and reward tokens are held by the casino to bankroll operations and pay for marketing efforts. And Play Royal has a decentralized exchange where you can easily trade any of the altcoins held on your gaming account for Tron tokens. This is really handy for taking profit when you win money from playing the games or selling crypto you earn from the daily airdrops of their in-house revenue share reward token. And lastly, the Play Royal Casino DAP has a really cool referral program where you can earn a percentage of the trading slash gaming fees generated by players that you refer. I'll show you more details about that a bit later in the video. And of course, if you love my content and would like to support me, you can use my referral link down below in the video description. Thank you in advance. Next, I'm gonna show you three different ways to log in and access the Play Royal Casino. Your first option is to create a Tron Link account via the iOS or Android app or Chrome link extension, and then go to the playroyal.com website via a computer browser like Chrome on your laptop or desktop computer and use your new Tron link account to log in. But I would say skip using a Tron link account because there is actually a Tron wallet app that I'm liking a lot more than the standard Tron link. I prefer to use the official Tron Wallet app that is available for iOS and Android. This is an example of what the logo of Tron Wallet looks like when you look for it on the App Store on both iOS or Android. I highly recommend using the mobile version of the app as it's the easiest to get started and will allow you to keep gaming on the go. But if you love to game with a bigger screen on your laptop, you will probably want to download and install Tron Wallet Play from the official Tron Wallet website, tronwallet.me. 
In terms of game playability, all the games on Play Royal work really well on mobile except Texas Hold'em Poker, which seems to be designed for a screen larger than mobile if you really want to have a good experience with it. I have played some Texas Hold'em via mobile and it was playable, but it's just not ideally formatted for the mobile screen. So you end up having to pinch the screen to zoom in and out or pan around the table of players and it's just a little bit clunky. Texas Hold'em Poker is a way better experience, in my opinion, when you use the Tron Wallet Play app on your desktop or laptop computer. And it's available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. But I'll show you more about Tron Wallet Play in another video since we are focusing on the mobile version today. So this video is not about the Tron Wallet. I have another video out there for that but I'm just going to briefly show you where you can go secure your wallet in the settings menu. This is just very important and I want to make sure that you set up your wallet in a safe way in case you decide to get started right away without checking out my other video. I'm just going to click the lower right hand menu navigation icon of the app to access the settings menu. And from here, the options under the security heading are what you would leverage to secure your wallet make sure that you click into the backup wallet option and copy down your recovery phrase and private key onto a piece of paper and store it carefully. You will need this info in case you ever lose your phone, delete your wallet by accident, or lose or forget your password, or else you will not be able to regain access to your funds. And then of course, you should have the always ask for pin and the activate biometry toggled on. This will make it so that it is required to use your thumbprint or fingerprint, or at the very least, your six digit pin code to access the app. Now I'm just gonna go back to the wallet dashboard by clicking the little wallet icon in the bottom middle navigation of the app. So once you have the Tron Wallet app backed up and secured on your phone, you will be just about ready to play some online casino games at Play Royal. You'll just need to get some crypto into your wallet. And you have a few options on how to do this. You can either trade for some Tron on an exchange like Binance or Bittrex and send it to your Tron wallet. Or you can just buy some Bitcoin from somewhere like Coinbase or Gemini Exchange and send it to your Tron wallet. Yes, that's right. Tron wallet also supports Bitcoin and soon Ethereum as well. Because on Tron wallet, you can exchange your Bitcoin for Tron or vice versa right on the app with usually excellent market rates. I believe that at some point, they'll have a functioning option to purchase Bitcoin with credit card on Play Royal, but for now, you'll need to leverage one of the options I suggested to acquire cryptocurrency to fund your Tron wallet. Once your Bitcoin or Ethereum is loaded to your Play Royal account, you can either start gambling with it, or if you'd like to have more tokens to play with, you can easily use the onboard decks to trade for Tron or Play tokens. And of course, Play Royal currently supports five currencies for deposit, trading, and gaming, including Tron, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USD Tether, and the in-house revenue earning Play token. And it's really easy to use the in-house decks to trade between any of these currencies or other Tron tokens. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to log into your Play Royal account through the Tron Wallet mobile app. Here on the main dashboard of the Tron Wallet, I'm just going to click the little globe icon on the lower left hand corner of the screen. This will bring us to the Tron Wallet's DAP browser. And when accessing Play Royal for the first time, you will need to enter the URL in the field here. You can literally type in www.playroyal.com dot com and click go to open it up and once you have opened it for the first time it will display under your recents here on the dap browser which is currently the first icon in my recents list here and you can also set any dap you like to use frequently as a favorite by using the settings menu of the dap browser after having opened a dap on it which as you can see makes it easy to access a list of your favorite daps so you should only ever have to enter the URL once for any dApp you use on the Tron wallet. So as you can see, it's really user friendly and easier to connect your wallet to the gaming platform using the mobile Tron wallet. 
So I'm just going to click the icon for Play Royal that I already have here in my recents to open up the site in the browser. This brings us to the initial homepage of Play Royal. At the top here, you will have some clickable action items in these images you see in rotation here, along with some text announcements scrolling underneath. From here, you can use the bright blue button in the upper right hand corner to register your PlayRoyal.com account. And if you already have an account, you can use the button right to the left of it to log in using your username and password. Scrolling down just a little bit further, they usually have some competitions running where you can qualify for large crypto prizes. I'll click into the Tal Dice competition that ends in three days. And on this screen, it will give you the start and end times and some details on the supported cryptocurrencies and the minimum bets you need to make for your gaming to qualify towards any of the top 10 crypto prizes. Scrolling down just a bit, you can see the prizes here. First place starting with 37,500 TAL tokens, with prizes scaling down to 10th place with a reward of 3,000 TAL tokens. Now I haven't really researched into these tokens yet, but I'm sure that you can easily trade them on the in-house exchange for play tokens. Play Royal definitely has generous prizes, especially for its top winners. And now I don't know much about this TAL token yet, but I do know that any of these prizes that you win, you can just take these tokens right over to the in-house exchange and trade them for Tron or more play tokens which is definitely a strong option considering that you can earn a passive income for holding a million or more play tokens on your Play Royal account. Scrolling down just a bit more, it will show the leaderboard of players who are qualifying for these prizes at this point. Looks like Jai is in first place here qualifying for the prize of 37,500 Tal if she can maintain her position all the way to the end of the competition. And it looks like at this point, that they have all 10 qualifiers who are about to be paid out within the next few days for whoever holds their positions in the top 10. I'm just going to click the Play Royal logo at the top of the screen to go back to the home page. Scrolling down the page, the next section of interest would be the featured games, which include Texas Hold'em Poker, Dice, Moon, and Big Wheel. And there is one other game not showing here called Wrath of Ra that you would be able to find in the list if you clicked the All Games button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And that's going to be a role playing type of game that's available on this site that's turned out to be pretty popular. And if you click the All Games button next to the Featured Games headline text at the top, it will take you to a list of all the games available on Play Royal. Scrolling down a bit further, it will show you some of the featured trading pairs of the in-house Play Royal Crypto Exchange. You can click the View All button to go to the full selection of cryptos on the exchange page. Then scrolling down a little bit further, it will give a real-time streaming list of the latest winners, giving some info on what game they were playing and how much they won. In scrolling down further, the last section of note is the list of top wagers made all time. And you can get even more gaming data by clicking the blue leaderboards button and search the leaderboards and top wagers per game. Next, we are going to move our attention to the navigation items at the bottom of the app screen, starting with games, symbolized by the little crown icon here on the far left of the menu items at the bottom of the screen. This button will help you to easily access all of the games available on Play Royal when you click it. Scrolling down the game section, it will first give you a list of featured games. Then you have some other categories of games, including a ton of casino slot games, which also includes a cool game called Plinko, which is a bit different than casino slots, but also included in this section. Next, you can click the blue button here to join the Texas Hold'em tables. Since this game does not format well for mobile, I'm going to show you how Play Royal Texas Hold'em Poker works in another video using the Tron Wallet Play app. Scrolling down a bit more, we have more online casino type table games like Blackjack, Roulette, and Baccarat. And then the last section at the bottom is in regard to the competitions like we looked at earlier. 
There is a view all button here you can use to view all of the competitions to see if there are any other types running other than what you see displayed here. Or you can look at the history of completed competitions over time as well through that section. Real quick, I'm going to use some play tokens to show you how several of these games work. And who knows, perhaps I'll win some crypto. First, we will click into play dice. And this is a simple game of high low, or in this case, over or under. You just have to guess whether the number that comes up is going to be under or over 49, or any number you select using the little green slider here. Notice how the number changes where it says guess when I move the slider. Right now with it set on 49, it gives me as close as possible to a 50-50 chance of winning whether I choose under or over. But you can skew the guess more in your favor by say choosing 20 as the guess number, which will give you an 80% chance of being right if you choose over instead of under. You can observe how changing the guess number affects the payout and win chance if you just scroll down a little bit further. Notice how I have the minimal bet already entered in the bet amount field of 5,000 play tokens. Now for example, when I slide it to 80 from 49, the payout goes from 2x to 1.225, and your win chance goes up to 80%, which means instead of doubling up, you are gaining 22.5% profit each time you win. It's a lower amount because it's that much easier for you to win. And so if you can win five times in a row using this setting, you're actually slightly more than doubling your money. And with this setting, if I win, I will get 6,125 play. That would make me 1,125 play tokens to play more games and win more crypto with. I will go ahead and leave under selected for my guess and leave 5,000 as my bet and then click the bluish green roll dice button here at the bottom to start the game. And it looks like I won as the result came up as 73. If we scroll down to where it says play dice live bets, we can look at our gaming results. If you click the my bets tab right here next to the blue highlighted all bets button, it will then load your gaming history and here you can see my wager of 5,000 play with the green 6,125 number underneath, showing you how many tokens I won with that game, as well as a little additional info about your game settings. You can further narrow down viewing your gaming results by the currency that you played with with any of the other buttons, or look at the gaming results of all other players by clicking All Bets. Scrolling down a little bit further, you have the last section of dice called the daily wager race. This is where a pool of the five supported cryptocurrencies builds up from a percentage of the house winnings and is then divided up at the end of the day by the top 10 players to wager the most funds playing the game for that 24 hour period. Pretty cool. Play Royal pays out a large percentage of their online casino gaming revenue to its loyal players. Scrolling back to the top of the game, one other thing you will find interesting is that most if not all of the games on Play Royal are provably fair. And you will find a green button at the top of this game screen that you can click to look at the blockchain data that is supposed to prove the fairness. It's an interesting and smart feature that helps the Play Royal platform to instill confidence in its players in regard to the fairness of its games. Also at the top of the game screen, it will give you options to automate your gaming by toggling on the auto bet feature. And you can also speed it up by clicking the red toggle button right next to auto bet labeled fast mode. Now I'm gonna go back out to the game selection screen real quick. I have not yet tried Moon. I heard that's a great game though. But I have played some Big Wheel, and that's what I'm going to click into next. And this one is pretty easy. The game consists of the wheel spinning and landing randomly on a color. Certain colors, like red for example, are more highly distributed around the wheel, making it a higher probability that the wheel will land on it. So if we scroll down, you can see the payouts for each color selection. 
With red, you can earn 2x. With green, 3x. Blue, 5x. And with orange, 60x. Orange only shows up in one spot on the wheel. That's why it's such a high payout. It's an extremely rare occurrence for it to land on orange. And you can bet on any number of these colors per wheel spin. So to play the game, you just have to wait for it to be in pre-spin mode with the timer counting down. And then you can scroll down and click on the colors you want to bet on. I could just bet on red if I wanted to for this round, but I will actually bet on red and green with 1000 play per bet as you can see set in the field above. And now I can just click the red 2x icon here and the green 3x icon and my bets will be placed. Now that I've placed my two entries, I'm just going to scroll up here and see how the wheel spins. Ah, looks like it hit green. So I at least made 1,000 play on my wager since green made me 3x on the 1,000 that I wagered on green. So even though I lost the 1,000 that I wagered on red, I still made a net 1,000 play tokens since I bet a total of 2,000 play and I ended up raking in a total of 3,000 play. And that is how Big Wheel works, another real easy game. And just like dice, if you scroll down, you can see your history of betting results and that of other gamers. And of course, there is also a daily crypto prize pool for this game as well. With the daily wager race that rewards the top 10 players who wager the most during the time period. I'm going to navigate back to the game selection screen by pressing the games button in the lower left hand corner of the app. Now I'm sure slot machines are pretty self-explanatory to any of you gamers watching this. I mean, who has not played a slot machine game? So it seems pretty easy to me for them to have as many flavors of this game as they do. I do not tend to play the slot machine games myself, but if you're into casino slots, you'll surely be in heaven here on Play Royal. So instead of showing you one of these games, I'm going to show you Plinko, which is at the bottom of the list. This game is actually inspired by the game of the same name from the classic TV show, The Price is Right. Plinko is another provably fair game with an auto bet toggle feature at the top of the screen. This game is also real easy. Your bet is on the balls that drop randomly from the top of the game screen and land in the areas at the bottom of the screen to determine your payout per game ball. The minimal bet per ball using play is 5,000 tokens. The minimum number of balls that you can drop are 5, so that makes the minimum bet 25,000 play tokens. Keep in mind that these play tokens are worth a small fraction of a cent, so it's not a large bet requirement by any means. You can also adjust the number of balls that drop per game play right below the bet adjustment, and you can play up to 10 balls per game at the cost of whatever you set your bet at per ball. Once you have your desired settings, simply click the square play button and it will drop the balls down and you can see which prizes you win. This game, like the others, has the same options to view your results or the prize pools if you scroll down. Now just to show you how the game works, I'm going to max out my bet at 10 balls, betting the minimal bet of 5,000 play tokens per ball and just go ahead and click the game play button and we'll see what happens. Okay, now that I finished the game, I'm gonna scroll down to my results for my bets and looks like I won 12,500 play tokens on that game. As you can see under my most recent result here, where I bet 50,000 play tokens, and you can see the green number 62,500 is how much I won. So my profit on that gameplay is 12,500 play tokens. And of course, this game also has the daily reward pool via the daily wager race. Now I'm just going to head back to the game section once again using the lower navigation of the app. And last but not least, you have the rest of the casino table games I'm just going to scroll down to, which includes games like Blackjack, Roulette, and Baccarat. 
I will click into the online blackjack game, since that is one that most of you will recognize. And from my experience, it seems like more people I know love to play blackjack at the casino rather than poker. It's just a little bit simpler of a game. So like I mentioned about Texas Hold'em Poker, this game is also going to look better on the bigger screen, but it's certainly still easily playable in this format on mobile. The minimal bet is 5,000 play tokens, and you can toggle your bet using the plus or minus buttons at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, I just upped my bet to 10,000, and now I will lower it back down to 5,000. You can turn on sound for the game if you want, or look at the rules if you need to by clicking the green settings menu on the left of the screen. To start a game, simply click the area in the middle of the playing table where it says place bet, and that will put down 5,000 tokens just like we had set our betting amount a moment ago. And if you click where it says place bet again, it will place another 5,000 token chip onto the table for your bet for a total of 10,000. If you made a mistake with your betting amount, you could click the undo or clear buttons on the lower left hand side of the screen. I'm comfortable with this bet, so I'm just gonna click the deal button on the right side of the screen. Oh wow, so I actually got blackjack on this hand, getting a jack and an ace, because a jack is worth 10 points and an ace is worth 11 points. And the dealer actually got a 20 on this hand, so I actually just won this hand of blackjack. I bet 5,000 tokens and it looks like the payout is 12,500 tokens, so I more than doubled my coins on this game. I'll play one more additional game, by clicking the repeat button in the lower right hand side of the corner and that will automatically put a 5,000 chip bet out there for me. And then click deal. All right, this time I got 20 and the dealer starts with two. So I'm gonna stand using the button in the lower left hand corner of the screen and we'll see how this goes. and the dealer bus. So I won once again, this time doubling my money by winning 10,000 over my bet amount of 5,000 tokens. And blackjack is as simple as that. And Play Royal provides an excellent way for you to get your fix in for online blackjack gambling. I'm just going to go back to the game section and give you a quick glimpse at one more Play Royal Casino game. I'm just gonna scroll down here and click into roulette. Now I'm no roulette buff or anything, so I'm just gonna keep it simple and do something like make a bet on red. By clicking the red area of the game board, you can drop some chips down each time you press it. If you want to remove your bet, just use the little red X button on the right hand side. By default, you will place the lowest value chips down, which equate to one play token each. The minimum bet per round is 10,000 play. You can select the higher value chip for 10k by clicking it on the left side of the screen. I'm just going to select the option for the 10,000 play per chip and then place a single chip down on red and then click the spin button on the lower right hand corner of the game screen to start the game. And this time it landed on red, and I won 20,000 coins, which doubles my money from my 10,000 coin bet. And that's how roulette works. So now that we've gone through some of the games, I'm going to go over a few of the other key features you are going to want to know about Play Royal. First, I'm going to click the lower navigation option titled Airdrops at the bottom of the app screen and teach you about the revenue earning portion of the Play Royal Casino. Just like I mentioned earlier, if you hold at least 1 million play deposited to your Play Royal gaming account, you can earn a passive income daily from the airdrops of Play Royal's in-house reward token. As you can see here, I'm currently holding 29 million play on my account, 
which qualifies me to receive a little over half a percent of the total RWD airdrop per day. As you can see by the percentage of my share according to my balance here. And it also displays the total amount of play deposited on the platform, which can be another factor directly affecting your share percentage of the daily airdrop. As you can see, there is currently 5,368 million play tokens deposited on the platform by some amount of other people who are enjoying these daily airdrops and the Play Royal Casino games along with me. I've been enjoying some pretty nice early adopter shares of crypto airdrops with this platform that have added up really nicely over time. And there is still an excellent opportunity to get positioned with play and earn a percent of the revenue from this awesome online gaming platform. I was actually holding even more play on here, but I ended up trading some for profit on the Play Royal Exchange. I had purchased much lower in value and the price went up over time as the adoption of this dApp has steadily increased. So I decided to take partial profit in trade while holding onto the rest to keep earning passively as this platform continues to grow its user base and overall amount of money flowing through it daily, which is only going to increase the value of the airdrops and the revenue sharing happening on Play Royal. Scrolling down a little further, it will show how much RWD or reward token is in the pool so far for the current 24 hour payout cycle, which is 7,066 RWD. And it will show how much you are qualified to receive based on that total and how much play you have deposited. Looks like so far, I'm gonna be paid out 38.17 RWD, at least with this amount in the pool by the end of the day. But there's a lot more time left in this day so this pool is probably going to grow much larger and so will the share that I'm going to receive. Now you're probably wondering, what do you do with the reward tokens? You have two options to cash in your profits from your RWD airdrop rewards. You can either trade them for Tron, USD Tether or other Tron tokens using the Play Royal Crypto Exchange or you can hold them and wait for them to further increase in value before trading them for profit. Or you can participate in the Daily Rewards Party Prize Pool, which is a pool that takes a percentage of the overall house gaming revenue for the day and pays it back to Play Royal gamers who burn RWD tokens that day. So proportionate to how much RWD you burn as opposed to the total amount burned that day, you will earn your share of the five supported cryptocurrencies that build up in this pool over the course of a day. And of course, the burning of these tokens for prizes is something that is decreasing the supply of reward tokens, which helps them to increase in trading value against Tron on the exchange. It currently trades at almost a full Tron per coin. It's definitely a unique system that works really well in my opinion, based on my experience using the platform for about six months now. Now, if we scroll down just a little further, you'll see there is also a weekly airdrop pool that you can earn a percentage of based on how much RWD that you are holding at the end of the week rather than burning. So if you decide to just accumulate reward token for a while, this is another way you can still accumulate additional crypto rewards for just holding it in your account. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit further, it will display the results of the previous airdrops a certain distance back. It displays the amount of reward token that was distributed that day on the left and shows how much reward token that I received on the right side of each. It displays the amount of reward token that was distributed that day on the left and shows how much reward token I received on the right side of each row here in the listing. And if I had received any of the weekly prize pool recently, it also shows those results and how much I got for each token. So what we're looking at here is that yesterday, January 12th, there was a reward token pool of 32,871 RWD tokens, and I received 177.11 RWD tokens. And it looks like also because that a week ended, I earned a little bit of Tron and a little bit of play based on the weekly airdrop pool I was telling you about that rewards the Play Royal users that are holding RWD in their account rather than burning it. I didn't get too much, only 0.52 Play and 0.06 Tron. I guess I didn't really have that much RWD saved on my account. 
But then you can see the previous days, January 11th, 10th, 9th, and 8th of RWD token pool airdrops. And I received some nice amounts for those. For example, 17,937 reward token pool on January 11th and I received 96.64 reward tokens, and so on for those next few days down on this list. So next, you're probably wondering how you can get your hands on some play tokens. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can load your Tron wallet with some Tron, and then use the Tron wallet dApp browser to access Tron Trade, which is a big decentralized exchange on the Tron blockchain that happens to list play. Once you have acquired some play to your wallet, you can then log into your Play Royal account and deposit your newly acquired play tokens. To deposit any of the supported cryptocurrencies to Play Royal, you can either click the profile slash settings icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then click wallet from the drop down menu. And that will take you to a screen of all your Play Royal crypto wallets. Or you can click where it displays the currently selected currency right next to the profile icon at the top right of the screen. And this will fly out a list of supported cryptos and show you which ones are mineable versus the coins that are only usable for gambling. So the five main supported cryptocurrencies of Play Royal are also mineable by holding them deposited on the platform. I'll show you more details about that on the mining screen in a bit. But from here, we can also click your wallet at the bottom of the drop down menu and that will take us to the wallet screen where you can deposit your play tokens you got from the Tron Trade Exchange. At the top of the screen, it will display your total account value and give you some additional profile settings and navigation menu items that we will go through momentarily. If we just scroll down a little bit, you will see the play wallet. Just click it once to open it up and display the deposit and withdraw options. Deposit is selected by default. It will display how much you have available for a deposit to Play Royal, where it says available on the right side. However much play you are holding in your Tron wallet will basically display here. You can enter any amount of it or all of it, and then just click the green deposit button and it will be very quickly deposited into your Play Royal gaming account. Also, just as easily, you can withdraw currency from your Play Royal account back into your Tron wallet by clicking the withdraw button. It will display your Tron wallet address and you can literally just type in the amount you want to withdraw or just click the orange amount next to the word available and it will populate the field below with the total amount of play that you have in your account. And then you can simply click withdraw and it will very quickly be withdrawn to your Tron wallet. Now I'm just gonna show you the Tron Trade Exchange real quick where you can trade some Tron for play tokens by clicking the home button at the bottom of the app. As you can see, Tron Trade is in my recents here in the middle. I'm just gonna click that. And that brings us right to the Tron Trade Exchange. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see play is in the top 10 cryptocurrencies traded on the exchange. You can just click it to go to its exchange screen and it will provide everything that you would expect from your candlestick charts um, and the ability to buy and sell tokens. So if we go to the trade screen here, this is where you can buy and sell. And whatever Tron you have loaded in your Tron wallet, you'll be able to use to buy tokens here. And of course, if you had play tokens in your Tron wallet, you would also be able to sell them for Tron. Very easy, you don't actually have to deposit any of your coins to this exchange because it just connects directly to your Tron wallet. It's very handy. Now I'm just gonna go right back to the Play Royal app. Another route to getting Play tokens into your Play Royal account is to just deposit either Tron or Bitcoin or any of the other supported cryptocurrencies and then using the in-house exchange to trade for them. This is also a really easy and highly recommended way of doing it and from my experience, it's much easier to trade tokens for profit on Play Royal than to have to withdraw them back to your Tron wallet and then go use Tron Trade. Scrolling down a little bit further past the Play Wallet, we'll see the other options for deposit that we have of the five main supported cryptocurrencies of the platform that we can deposit and withdraw from. And as you can see, I have some currency in all of them 
based on the fact that I've been using the platform and receiving airdrops for quite a while now. I have actually withdrawn some of these currencies numerous times, like I've withdrawn Tron numerous times. I would have a bunch more in there if I had not done that. But since I mostly game using the play token, I tend to withdraw some of these other currencies to my wallet over time when they accumulate. I'll just show you for example, we'll open up the Bitcoin wallet and you can go ahead and deposit Bitcoin into your Play Royal account if you wanted to gamble with Bitcoin. Same with Tron or Ethereum or USD Tether. Scrolling back to the top of the profile slash wallet area, I'm going to explore a few of the navigational items for account settings with you. The profile icon at the left side of this navigation on the screen next to where it says wallet, which we are currently on, will give you some options to customize your profile as you gain experience from playing the games and unlock certain achievement levels. You can also update your username here. The most important part of this section for you to check out, in my opinion, is the security section. You can get there by clicking the little lock icon in the navigation. And as you can see, it provides us with our authentication methods for logging in. You are going to want to enable email authentication, Tron authentication, and two-factor authentication. If I remember correctly, I needed to use the website via the computer browser or Tron Wallet Play in order to get my 2FA properly set. Make sure you secure your account with these settings because Play Royal is basically a cryptocurrency wallet as well as an online gaming casino. And you should take the same care to secure it as you would any of your other crypto wallets or exchange accounts. Now scrolling back up, we're gonna look at the next item in the navigation. The activity section will provide you with a list of all your transactions that have happened within the Play Royal DAP and provides you with some handy filters for you to sort out your data. So here's all my most recent gaming transactions or exchange transactions. And of course, any of these buttons you can use in order to filter them out. So for example, if I click exchange, it will show all the transactions that I've done in the exchange recently. Or if we click game, it will show all of our transactions in regard to games. Or we can look at deposits and withdrawals. Or we can look at our list of recent airdrops. You can look at your referrals. You can look at prizes you've received from the airdrop party. Really cool. Next, we have the fairness section, which is this little leaf icon in the navigation. The fairness section will provide you with the hashes for every game you played that was provably fair. The next icon in the profile settings navigation will show you all your open orders on the exchange, if you have any. It will also provide your order history, this little icon with the up and down arrow for orders. And this would be in regard to the exchange. Now I don't have any active orders open right now, but if I click order history, it will then show some of my recent trades. The last icon to the very right side of the navigation with the sideways arrow will basically log you out of the app. And that covers everything really important about the profile settings area of the Play Royal Casino site. Next, we are going to check out Play Royal's in-house crypto exchange by clicking exchange in the app navigation at the bottom right of the screen. Scrolling down, you will see a selection of cryptocurrencies available for trading on Play Royal. There is actually some decent volume for certain coins on this exchange. At the top, you can select from any of the five main supported cryptocurrencies of the platform as your base trading pair. Tron will have the most trading pairs available because of Tron tokens, of course. But Ethereum, Bitcoin, and USD Tether do have a number of trading pairs as well. You can trade for play tokens with any of the five options except for Bitcoin. I'm sure that ability will be added later. If you deposited Bitcoin to Play Royal and you want to get play tokens, you could just trade your Bitcoin for Tron, since that is an available trading pair and then go to the Tron base pairs to trade your Tron for play tokens. I will just click into the play slash TRX trading pair exchange page just to show you what it looks like. On Play Royal, you have your typical crypto exchange setup with the coin stats and 24 hour price info at the top of the screen with the candlestick chart and scrollable list of most recent buy and sell trades 
right below. You can easily change the time frame of the chart from hourly to daily by clicking where it says H1 on the upper left hand corner of the chart and I'll change it to a daily. Looks like we're having a bit of pump on play today trading against Tron. You can adjust the zoom of the chart by pinching your fingers on the screen. Notice at the bottom of the screen there is a unique navigational menu for the exchange section of the site. We are currently on the chart section. If you click markets, it will take you back to the last page we were on with the selection of cryptocurrencies. The next option, pairs, will take you to another screen that gives you a more condensed list of the available trading pairs. The next option in the lower navigational menu, trade, will take you to a screen for your selected crypto where you can actually place bid or sell orders. Very self-explanatory and works like any other exchange you have used at this point. You have your buy and selling order books on the left hand side of the screen and you can scroll through these orders by just clicking the icons at the top to expand either side of the order book. And of course, set it back to the default view. Then you have the typical buying and selling forms on your right hand side. Simply fill the forms and execute your trade. I'll show you an example by selling a small amount of play for Tron. First, I will click the button that says sell on the upper right hand side of the screen to get the selling order forms. And then I will just click the highest bidding price on the green buy side to populate the selling field quickly and easily. And as you can see that entered a Tron price in the price field. And then I will just enter 5,000 play in the amount field and then click sell play. And it will give you a message that your order has been placed. And since I selected an available market price from the buy side of the order book, my order will be filled instantly. Now clicking back to the buy side of the order form, it will show the amount of Tron that I have available on Play Royal now. And it looks like I now have 372 Tron. I know I had around 160 Tron before that I did the trade. So this will be my new total. We can view the details of the trade that I just made in the history section, which you can get to by clicking where it says history in the navigation on the lower right side of the app screen. Now, as we can see, I have zero open orders because my sell order I just made filled instantly. So we'll click order history. And here we can see that latest trade that I made for 5,000 Tron at the price of 0 0.006 Tron per play coin filled 100%. Now, if we go back to profile real quick and go to activity and exchange, we will be able to see that I traded 5,000 play and received 29.94 Tron in exchange. Now, I'm just going to navigate back to the main dashboard screen of Play Royal. And from here, I'm going to click the little arrow to the rightmost side of the DAP navigation at the bottom of the screen to reveal a few more navigational items. From here, you can access sections such as the referral details page where you can get your referral link, the frequently asked questions slash FAQ area. You can open a support ticket through the help section and you can chat with other Play Royal members using the chat option. I will click into the referral section real quick. From here, you can access your referral slash affiliate link at the top of the page. So if you're getting massive value out of this video and want to get started gaming on the Play Royal Casino, if you'd like to support my production of valuable cryptocurrency content and training that helps you make more money, I would super appreciate if you used my affiliate link down below in the video description to get started. And I'd like to give you a big thank you in advance. If you share your affiliate link for Play Royal, the amount you receive as a referrer from whoever that you referred is a percentage of the house edge on any games they play and that percentage is based on your account rank. To receive higher rewards, you can rank up your Play Royal account by gaining XP or experience points playing the games. That will also unlock other options for customizing your player account.
If we scroll down just a little bit more, it will show some more specific details of exactly where your earnings are coming from as an affiliate. Now, you are going to earn a bit more as you rank up on the site, but by default, when you first start out as an affiliate, you will be able to earn 10% of the house edge on wins, 25% of all trading fees, 5% of the rake paid in the Texas Hold'em poker games, and whoever you refer through your link will also gain a 1% mining bonus for one week, which means they will gain 1% more in additional income by gaming on the PlayRoyal platform using any of the five supported cryptocurrencies that qualify for mining. And to just completely fill you in on how the mining works, you can see more details about that on the mining information page of PlayRoyal. And we can get to that area by just clicking the arrow on the bottom navigation again. And then I'm going to click where it says mining in the lower navigational menu. First off, this will show how much reward token has been burned and provide details about the mining and burning of the reward token. Just scroll down a little bit further and it will display how much bonus reward token you can earn by gaming with a certain amount of any of the supported cryptocurrencies on Play Royal. Basically, every time you gamble around 15,000 play tokens on Play Royal games, you will mine one reward token. Every time you bet an accumulated 86 Tron, you will mine one reward token. Every time you accumulate 1.24 of USD Tether in bets, you will mine a reward token. For each time that you accumulate 0 0.000165 Bitcoin of bets, you'll earn a reward token. And last but not least, each time you accumulate 0 0.0095 Ethereum worth of bets, you will mine a reward token. This all adds up nicely in the end if you play the games and will help you maximize on your profit potential with Play Royal's reward token. If you scroll down a little bit further, it will show you any active mining bonuses that are available. And right now, as you can see, they are offering a 5% bonus of reward token for gaming using the Play token. Now that you understand how the mining works on this platform by merely playing the games, gambling a certain amount of cryptocurrencies, you can earn or mine reward tokens. Now, I'm just going to click where it says party in the navigation at the bottom of the screen. The reward token burn party gives you the opportunity to burn your accumulated reward tokens to receive a share of the cryptocurrency prize pool for that day. So as you scroll down, you can see the total value of the prize as it currently stands. And it will also provide a countdown for how long until the daily distribution occurs, where everyone who burned reward tokens will receive their share of the prize to their Play Royal Crypto wallets. Scrolling down a little further, you will also see how much of each cryptocurrency makes up the total prize pool for this current cycle and make your decision on if you want to burn reward token that day or not. If you scroll down even more, down past the form where you can burn your reward tokens, it will show you how many reward tokens have already been burned towards the current pool, which at this point we can see that 10,314 reward tokens have been burned by other players who are trying to get in on today's crypto reward pool. This may also be another factor in determining whether you want to participate, as of course you will receive a greater share of the prize pool the more reward token that you burn and the less that is burnt overall by others. If you decide to take the plunge earlier in the 24 hour cycle of the pool, you will get a bonus percentage added on to whatever you'll get at the end of the cycle. And once you burn some RWD, it will display your share of each of the cryptos from the prize pool right here. If you scroll down even further, it will show a history of your payouts from participating in the reward party prize pool. Here are some of my recent payouts. I've had some pretty significant payouts over time on certain lucky days where the Play Royal Casino had a greater than usual amount of overall gambling slash DAP transaction volume. I'm going to show you one more thing on this site today by clicking the arrow once again via the navigation menu at the bottom of the screen. Then I'm going to click where it says chat on the far right of the navigation menu. And that will pop out a chat area from the left side of the screen. You will be allowed to engage in the conversation here once you have leveled up for the first time by playing games on the platform. 
And that completes my review and walkthrough of the online Play Royal Casino Daplication. I know that if you love to play online casino games, you are absolutely going to love the Play Royal gaming platform. Keep an eye out for my next video about Play Royal coming soon, where I'm going to show you all about the Texas Hold'em poker game and how to play it using the Tron Wallet Play application for your desktop or laptop computer. If you love the training I provided in today's video about Play Royal and want to support me so I can keep producing content that helps you make more money in the crypto world, I would super appreciate if you registered your Play Royal gaming account using my referral link down below in the video description. And thank you in advance, my friend. I hope you love today's training and have massive fun with Play Royal. Keep your eye on my channel for more free crypto trainings as I find new profitable opportunities worthy of reporting back to you about. I will be doing another video about Play Royal soon enough to show you how to access and play Texas Hold'em Poker. I would certainly appreciate your support if you would take the time to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. I would love your feedback and it would certainly help me out. If you are ready to dive headfirst and immerse yourself in the world of cryptocurrency trading, investing, and mining, and set yourself up for the best results possible, it's all about taking your education as a trader seriously. You owe it to yourself to take a serious look at my cryptocurrency trading, investing, and mining mastery course, and my 24-7 running mastermind chat group on Slack. It's all about your education and empowering yourself with the tools for success in any area you seek to excel and produce exceptional results. Next thing you know, you could be writing your very own success story with the help of the education and mastermind opportunity we have available for you here at Bitcoin Lifestyles Club. You can get more info about the education and mastermind at my website, www bitcoinlifestyles.club. You can click the link right below this video for more information and to get started. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Caleb Wright signing off. I look forward to catch you soon with even more value. May you grow in Bitcoin prosperity until next time.